Meow. <coughs> meow, right? Meow. All right. So, what up, y'all? It's your girl Delia with PhiladeliaEagles.com, joined by Madden G4D. What's up, everybody? Um, we are not coming to you live. Nope, we're not live because my internet sucks. I can do stuff like this, and we'll just cut it out, right? No. Oh. I'm trying yeah. not to do work on this. Right. <laughs> so we've been sitting around, like, waiting for half an hour to see if our internet was going to speed up. And nope, not happening. Nope. So it's already late. I'm already tired, and my stomach's a little uneasy. So I figured we'll pre-record and just let it upload for however many hours it's going to take on my slow internet. Um, now. Now. A few things. What's up? First things first. What? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to do this yesterday, this video, hmm. but I decided, well, you know what? At this point, I have to wait for Man in G4D because, Why is that? well, he's gone perfect oh. this entire playoff run. Oh, my. That's right. So I did this. The very first season I ever uh, made picks on YouTube, I I did the same thing. I hit perfection. Eight for eight right now. Bruce. Yeah. Eight it's a good eight. feeling. And so I figured, you know, at this point, he's got to be in it because apparently he's got all the right predictions. So I waited and he got home late last night. So we decided to push it today to the today. And now the internet sucks. So, you know, all these complications, man. But we'll get through it find a way um and also in the description i'm gonna have two sites one's gonna be the fanduel tournament and the other one which will be the top link is easypickemap.com that's easypickemap.com yeah that's and even though i make easypickemap.com and i've been making the picks and picks videos for a <laughs> long time i don't usually go eight for eight in the playoffs so it is a rare moment of greatness. So I'm basking. Let me bask. Bask in all its glory. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts because it can end Any this moment. weekend. It could. So, and it might. I feel least confident in these picks than I have the other eight. So. These two matchups are really kind of yeah. the tough. And that's what's so great about this weekend because it really is like any team can win it. And me, you know... I have certain preferences, but it's it's going to be tough. So let's start with the Patriots the at AFC, AFC Broncos, which game. is interesting that it's Broncos with home field advantage, first of all. Yep. And, you know, you look at... A couple things, a couple facts. Okay. Tom Brady has a losing record in Denver. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's an interesting fact. Mile high, mile high, son. Um, Another interesting fact. <laughs> yes. Denver has the number one defense. Yes, they do. And uh, Patriots are 30th in rushing. So. They have Tom Brady, though. I know. <laughs> they don't really rush they at don't all. Need to rush. <laughs> some of their, it's like they do like what Andy Reid does, where like some of the runs were like the short passes to the halfback. So, I wonder, do we know what the weather's like there? I guess, does it show here? I don't think it matters too much. I think Tom Brady is good. Yeah, in both he weather. is. I think Manning's going to perform the same in both. It's frosty. Weather. Frosty. So it's cold. Snow. There might be snow. It might be snow. It might be weather. Okay. So that, I mean, <clears throat> that favors the defense, right? The defense. Now, I think... Can I, can I do my rant? Do it, do it. Okay, so I thought about this game. This game I really was not sure on. Um, the least sure game I've had. Mm -hmm. And so I've made a decision. This is how I got there. Whoa, getting serious, so, man. I think Bill Belichick is a great game planner. He's great game strategy, right? And so I think he'll have his defense really well prepared for the Broncos offense and so um, he's familiar with Peyton Manning 
he's familiar enough with Gary Kubiak's offense. He's familiar enough with all the weapons, and he'll be able to take away their best thing and force them into something they're uncomfortable with and be less efficient at. That's what he always does. So he's going to do that. I have faith he will accomplish that. Um, and then on the the Denver's defense is just really, really, really good. Right, mm-hmm. they just have talent, and they're playing really well, and they have really high confidence. So they have everything going for them on defense. Now that best defense is going up against one of the best quarterbacks, and um, I know the the Tom Brady side of the ball, the offense, New England's offense is going to be well prepared. They're going to struggle for sure because just they're going up against a good defense. And I also think the Peyton Manning led Broncos offense is going to struggle because. Peyton Manning isn't doing that well, mm-hmm. right? And I think I don't think it would matter too much if Osweiler was in there either. I think they're both kind of playing comparable. Um, and so I think both offenses are going to struggle. Both defenses are going to become really well prepared and play well. Now, that's kind of even, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the tiebreaker for me was oh. it comes down to the quarterback, right? Yeah. If you're going up against the best defense and the coaching staffs are pretty well matched and the talents are pretty well matched, it comes down to certain positions and any difference makers. And right now, Tom Brady is a better difference maker than Peyton Manning. Mm-hmm. And so I'm edging towards Tom Brady and the New England Patriots to make two back-to-back appearances at the Super Bowl. Oh, God. And as much as I would prefer to see Peyton Manning when I go out and ride off into the sunset on a Super Bowl win, uh, I just don't think it's going to happen. Much yeah. so I want it to happen. Like the worst scenario for me would be Patriots, <clears throat> Cardinals in the Super Bowl because I wouldn't want either team to win. I'm sick of seeing the Patriots win the Super Bowl and Cardinals. I know the Cardinals fans are just they're going to turn into the new Cowboys fans, but like just but, nonstop talk about Super Bowl. But you'd have fun if that happened because. We could go to Levi Stadium and then troll both teams. Ah, true. Trolling. Very true. The troll, well, the troll. Okay, I agree with everything you said. Now, for me, though, it comes down to one person. Who? And one player. Ooh. That is Peyton Manning. Mm. Now, you said it doesn't matter if Oswald's in or not. I think Peyton, no. I think it's different. I think Peyton needs to be in this game, and I think he has the potential to have one of those games where we see the old Peyton, you know? And I think if it's any game, it's going to be this one because this is the biggest rivalry, the two, you know, these two quarterbacks, we've we've seen this matchup a lot and we've it's it's been an amazing game each time. Can I comment on that? Yes, yes. So there's always a potential for that to happen. Yeah. However, if you look at the history of Peyton Manning, right? But you can't go on history. Well, Those moments, no, 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 you there's no history. trace of it. So, like, so, so uh, people can do new things all the time that counters historical record, right? Mm-hmm. So he can do something new and great, and I hope he does. Yeah. But for the history of Peyton Manning, he does not perform well in the playoffs. That's true. When the pressure's on, he does not perform well. So you're you'd be going against the historical record for that when you're saying I'm, you can bet on it totally. You can I mean, totally but there's a lot. It, but, I get it. There's a lot going against it. Yeah. Now the way I think of it, it's happened so many times. Just like me when I was competing, you know, in college, I would break I would lose to this same girl yeah. three times every single you know every single season we'd play, and it'd come down, it'd be down to you know tiebreakers, like super close match, and I would lose every single time. And then it got to that point my senior year where I was like, this is it. Either I win this and I take the entire you know I'm the top chick you know in our conference. Or I lose to this girl and she takes it all and I've never beaten her, you yeah. know? So to me, wow. this is that make or break moment where it's like, as an athlete, if you have a strong mental game and you really have that desire and you're aware of your faults yeah. and the mistakes 
and the fact that you have this tendency, yeah. you go above and beyond to make sure How it doesn't epic happen. Would that be? How epic would so, that be to see Peyton Manning do that? To beat Tom Brady, to outsmart Tom Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, on his way out. You know what I mean? So with this pick, you know, at first I wanted to go Patriots, but you know what? I'm throwing logic out the door. Um, And I'm hoping, this is more of hoping for one of those moments, but it's a gamble. You don't know. Totally. Like, I didn't know I could beat that girl. It still came down to third set tiebreaker, Mm. you know? So I easily could have lost, but somehow I pulled it through and I'm so glad it was done with and I never had a player again. So... Um, that's how epic would that be to the legacy of these two, too? Yeah, like because right now Tom Brady has the edge, yeah, right. But if you say that Peyton went out and he crushed him, you know what I mean, or he yeah. beat him and he went out and got his second Super Bowl win, like that just makes that the the the, the legacy of those two that much more mm. uh bigger of a rivalry, you know, yeah, like, really awesome. So, I, I hope that happens. Yeah, but I'm still going to my pick. Okay, so Patriots, Broncos. Now we have the next matchup, which is Cardinals at Panthers. Yeah. So another tough pick. I mean, mm-hmm. Panthers, they are playing good football, and they are having convincing wins um, well, in the first half. <laughs> um, and... Like, again, it seems like the logical thing to lean towards the Panthers. Mm-hmm. But again, I want to go with the non, not logic and just kind of what I'm feeling. What are you feeling? What is Philadelphia feeling? And, well, I mean, and I'm looking at these numbers here. And Cardinals the outrank. Numbers are logic. That's true. That's true. So I guess... But logic can influence how you feel. That's fine. Keep going. I don't know what I'm going with, guys. But (laughs) So you look at the numbers, and Cardinals outrank the Panthers in every category except rushing. But even at rushing, Cardinals are top eight. So, um, you know, know, I don't know. This one's tough. I mean, they're both tough. But I kind of want to go Cardinals because I've been saying they're the team to beat. And well, no, let's throw everything before yesterday at the window. Right now, who do you think is going to win? Like, don't don't say it because you said it before. How about you? You do your little rant. That helps okay. me. Okay. Rethink my. You're gonna look. Myself. You're gonna cheat then. Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm gonna cheat. cheat. Okay. Because it's so close, <laughs> so hard. All right, I ha- I have less of an insight in this game than my last game, but um, one thing that I did notice in the Cardinals game last week is how much Carson Palmer reminded me of Andy Dalton Mm. in that he did not play well in his third playoff game that he was playing last week. Um, And so as part of the big moment players, and I don't have enough data, right, to make an intelligent decision if Carson Palmer is a clutch player or not, like if he's in, in, in the NFL at this point in his career, is he going to be able to play in clutch situations when it's a big game like this? Or is he going to get mentally unstable and falter? I don't, there's not enough data out there, right, for that, right? But from what I saw last week, there's definitely a high potential for that to happen. He could have just had a bad game, right? That could totally be it too. But I don't see that on the other side of the ball. I see Cam Newton being able to rise to the occasion. Yeah. And so the quarterback being such an important position, you need that player to be on their A-plus game in this in this game against these two defenses, right? Yeah. And these offenses. They're both high-powered everywhere. And so I think I, think I really like Bruce Arians. You know, I think Carson Palmer and I think Arizona Cardinals as a whole did really well all season. I think they might get edged out by the quarterback play of Cam Newton. And the fact that I haven't seen a team be able to stop the run blocking of the Panthers. Yeah. Like, they should all be tested for HGH. <laughs> like, they just seem like they're on a little bit of a different level 
this year in terms of run blocking. And I think it's just if it looks the way it looks, it is just strength. Like they just they get their hands on a dude and they're able to push him backwards and hold on to him longer than other people are used to. Mm-hmm. And so they're not used to uh, they're used to getting off those blocks. They're not used to having those same holes. And so the defense that they're used to running is broken down. And that's what I saw the Eagles happened against them. That's not that, that good of a defense. But I've seen it happen again and again. So I think the only way Arizona wins is if they break the running game, mm-hmm. if they stop the running game, if they, if they can figure out a way yeah. to get off the offensive line run blocks – or end the fullback and the tight end. Everyone's blocking on that team. If they're able to stop the run game, that's the only way they win. They have some pieces that they could get it to work, but I don't. it's too big of a question mark for me to bet on that. So I'm going to go with the Panthers um, based on the quarterback play, where Carson Palmer could totally fall, falter mm-hmm. uh, because, mentally. Um, and I think Cam Newton can rise to the occasion mentally. Yeah, He's and definitely think, tougher. And I think matchup-wise... Um, I give the edge to the run blocking prowess of the Panthers offense, okay. um, being able to control the game from there like they have all season. So I'm going with the Panthers for those reasons. Okay. Yeah, it's, they definitely have the, like Cam Newton, he's, he's strong. He's a stronger quarterback physically and mentally, you know, mm-hmm. like he's just, very confident and that that's helpful for an athlete so they don't doubt themselves they don't second guess they don't you know have those hesitations and that team has a lot of hype and energy cam newton's really good at getting them just into it you know and he's a really good leader in that sense where a lot of the stuff we find annoying it's his team rallies behind it they love it yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, they have a good thing going, not going to lie. And this, you know, this may be just me being bitter and just like, nah, I don't want to give it to the Panthers. So, but another thing is when I saw the Cardinals, like, Fitz was just lighting it up at the end. You know, he kind of really, I saw kind of this energy and this spark where it's like, oh, these guys are in it to win it too, you oh, know? Yeah. And they're not going to let this, you know, going into overtime, like it's a really fragile moment, you know, especially when Green Bay had the momentum, but they didn't falter. They just said, hey, we're going to end it here. And then boom, you know, huge play, huge play. That's so, just because the officials didn't flip the coin. Though. Ah, that's true. But, you know, this is, it's a risky move because you've gone perfect. And now I want to go opposite of what you say, which means that, oh, I could no, be, no. I can, I can lose Which both means years. I could be the opposite of perfect, but you know what? We're going to keep it interesting, and we'll see who comes out on top. Well, I think that's Sunday. a very good strategy. Yeah. So the Steelers rallied around Jerome Bettis. Mm-hmm. I think they were the sixth seed that year, and they won the Super Bowl. The Ravens rallied around Ray Lewis on his last year, and they won the Super Bowl. Um, it is a very motivating thing for a 53 guys for the coaching staff for everybody involved to win the game for a player that's given so much to an organization mm-hmm. I think Fitzgerald fits that mold almost yeah I think he fits a lot of the right things but I don't think he's he's as much of a vocal leader as Ray Lewis and I, so yeah. Ray, he's like the motivating dude you know what I mean mm-hmm. so he's giving it all to them and they're just going to give it all right back. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I haven't seen that from Fitz. Maybe he does that in the locker room a little bit. Um, they will be fighting for him, but there might be a, a little less edge to it um, because of how vocal and how what type of leader he is. No, I agree. I agree. But, you know, I'm just going with my my vibes this hey, week. That's a good point. That's a really so, good point. I like it. I'm, uh, I'm going Cardinals. And for me, the ideal situation was would be Cardinals. And Broncos in the Super Bowl and Broncos win. You know, that way it all plays out in my favor, in my preferences of teams that I like or fan bases that I don't like. So um, <laughs> I guess that's it. That's we'll wrap it. it up. You know, we want to make this quick. So um, 
I guess let us know your picks in the comments below. Sorry we couldn't do this live like we normally do. You can blame my internet. Um, Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> you are the interwebs. Don't you I know am that? your interwebs. <laughs> so any final words, G4D? Are you oh, going to play man. a Madden game? Um, yeah, I'll probably be playing a Madden game here early next week. I have some other ones to upload that are all, all, already on Twitch, Madden underscore G4D. Um, I'm also on Twitter and YouTube at the same handle, Madden underscore G4D. Find me there. Chat, hang out, talk football, talk Madden, whatevs. All right, cool. And let's let's enjoy some football on Sunday, man. Oh. These games, I think, will be really fun to watch. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. So, all right, that's it. It's your girl, Delia, with PhiladeliaEagles.com and Madden G4D. Signing off. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Eagles.